fell in love with Ashley Down in Miami, we got nasty I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed You know the game, you know the game Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today we're going deep wave with a little bit of cornrow action. Today I've teamed up with Kess Wigs to bring you this beautiful lace wig install. Today I went with this beautiful deep wave texture. I'm going to keep it more on the soft and fluffy, bouncy, natural side. Of course, if you want to go in and define the curls, grab out your Denman brush, grab your mousse, and you'll be able to definitely like clump and define the curls. Because I was going for this little baby doll look, I wanted to keep the hair more on the natural, fluffy, bouncy, a little bit frizzy side. I think that just pairs well with the vibe of the cornrows. Even the um, baby hair pairs well with this look as well to me. You can definitely customize and switch it up. No cornrows, this is a 13 by six free part lace wig. So you literally can part it all the way over here if you want the cornrows to go from ear to ear. If you wanna do a ponytail half up, half down, deep side part, whatever you wanna do with this one, you can definitely achieve, especially along the front of this Swiss lace. So without further ado, go ahead and subscribe before we get started. I'll wait. Now let's jump right into the video. Jumping right into it, this is what the wig looks like straight out the box. She is a 13 by 6, 20 inch deep wave wig. This is a look at the inside construction of the cap. I love a good free part. That means you can part anywhere. And for that reason, we are going to be doing cornrows today. So the install and cornrows are coming right up. Here's a look at the hairline and how it comes off the bat absolutely gorgeous i love 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 the texture also here's a look at the parting before we even start as i mentioned you have six inches of parting space going ear to ear so you definitely have room to play deep wave texture is one of my favorites and this one definitely did not disappoint i love 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 the way it looks all you got to do is add a little water maybe a little conditioner or moisturizer for a you know a little bit of a leave-in and you're good to go so let's jump right into the install process step one for me today is going to be just to cut off the excess lace you can bond the wig down without cutting off the excess lace sometimes i do it that way today i just thought it would be an easier process to go ahead and cut everything off beforehand now I'm going to go ahead and bond the wig down. I love a good extra hold, super hold hairspray. And there goes my baby boy, my oldest. He had a great game today with basketball. I love to use a super hold hairspray. That way I have the versatility of bonding my wig down, having it fit glueless, and then being able to take it off at night for comfort at sleep time. Coffee breaks are important. Java is life. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the all three sides. I do the center first. I do one side next. Doesn't matter which side that is. And then the last side. Blow drying on a cool setting for the best install possible. It does take a little bit more patience, but patience is a virtue. Patience is going to get you the install you are looking for. So with this one, I love the fact that I was able to bond it down super simple and easy, but I do want to go ahead and make it look like it's melting out the scalp. So I did separate what I'm going to be using as like the baby hair area. And then I went in with wax and electric hot comb and I just make sure I melted that down. I hope you guys seen that transition of how smooth and thin and like out the scalp it looks after I went ahead and did that little step. Now I did tweeze out the hairline. I felt like it can look a little bit better if I just went ahead and thinned it out just a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and work on our cornrows. Be sure to get all the excess hair out of the way. You can do your baby hair beforehand, but I just wanted to have something for the hairline to grip to. Again, this is a glueless install, so it will lift a lot more easy than if you use actual glue. So I am going to use a wig band to just go ahead and lay the hairline down and keep it holding down tight while I braid the hair if you have extra hands you can have somebody like hold the wig down for example if you're at the shop and you're getting your hair done they typically will have you go ahead and hold the hairline down while they do like um braids or whatever tension style hairstyles are going to do the wig band is going to go ahead and hold it for you now I'm going to go ahead and secure with a rubber band. I like to use the little tiny ones. I keep um, a stash in my hair stuff. I keep a stash in the girls hair stuff. They just come in handy for a little bit of everything. 
off camera I did a second braid and at this point I was going to do two braids you'll see later that off camera I did additional two braids to make a total of four but right now we're going to work on the hairline baby hair is not necessary or essential but it's my fave and to me it just makes a hairline look better because you don't see that line that shows exactly where the wig starts it also looks super cute paired with cornrows in my opinion so I'm going to use some mousse I use a generous amount this is going to give a fluffy hold to the baby hair and also just make sure everything lays down super nice if I have to choose between a mousse and an edge control for baby hair a mousse wins every single time but do be careful because this is a liquid even though it is alcohol based it still is a liquid and will lift up your lace if you did use a hairspray opposed to a glue so after this step I will go back in with the melt belt and just put it down to make it dry back again which I did now let's go ahead and wet down the hair so you do have an option to go ahead and wash and condition the hair before you start i chose not to so you can just see what you're working with straight out of the box i did use a simple moisturizing condition conditioner i'm sorry just a little bit on the ends to go ahead and make sure that it was nice and smooth and saturated and this is what the hair looks like after you went ahead and wet and condition it absolutely beautiful deep wave texture the length the thickness the density everything about this one was perfect i went ahead and cooked dinner and did the good night routine with my children and this after <laughs> i survived the the good night routine but my hair kind of sort of did not so let's go ahead and put the final touches on it for tonight i did use a concealer along the parting just to make the um parts pop a little bit more and i'm just going to use a rag to kind of blend it out so it doesn't look so messy and then i'm going to use a powder something that is a shade or two darker than my complexion along the hairline just to make sure that it doesn't look too bright or you know it makes basically to make it look like it's my skin opposed to a wig Okay, love bugs. So today I've teamed up with Kess Wicks to bring me this beautiful look. And I absolutely love the way it came out. For starters, this is the box that the wig came in. And it's nice and heavy. So let's go through that before I forget. Inside, they gave me a little book of information. Um, also, these were attached to the wig and they have like info on the wig. But beyond that, you have your mesh bag, which is... Um, reusable obviously so you can go ahead and store your wig there beyond the tissue paper you also have some more goodies so what makes the box heavy is this nice little curling iron and it's kind of like portable it um folds down i haven't had a chance to use it but it folds down so it makes it compact so if you want to store it like in your travel bag your carry on uh your gym bag or like even leave in your car or like in your desk in your workplace so you can kind of go ahead and be prepared for like weekend fun festivities i think that's super awesome and it looks like it goes to 200 celsius has their logo on it and all there also is a pack of wig caps there also is a wig band like a satin wig band and then there's also this reusable pouch here inside and the pouch is like um iridescent i guess that's what you would call it and it does have their name here you open it up and inside you have your um what is this called elastic band and it's really soft i noticed it has a like a crystal pin and the pin does say Kess wigs on it which is their name super nice um, a mini set of bobby pins and again everything is customized with their logo which I love all for that and then this is an edge brush and then two pair of tweezers and both of them also say Kess wigs on them the hairline everything about this one is super nice minimal customization I did go in and squeeze out the hairline just a little bit because I knew I wanted to have baby hair but I didn't want it to be too dense in the front Now you can definitely do less baby hair or you can go in and um, tweeze out more or like even for me since I have it like this now if I decide tomorrow or in a few days or a few weeks that I don't want baby hair I can still send it back and just use a little bit of edge control or a little bit of wax or just naturally send it back and it'll be like nothing happened 
the actual hair and the deep wave texture is absolutely beautiful just water and a little bit of moisturizing conditioner did the trick i like the soft fluffy curls so i really didn't want to weigh it down with like super a lot of product and like make it super defined i love the like baby soft curls paired with the cornrows to me that is a perfect match made in heaven and of course i love the baby here to set it off so again this is what the hairline looks like if i did not mention it is swiss lace along the top and then with the lace also um this is a like free part lace wig so some lace wigs would be 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 but you can only part like here and then up here it comes forward well with this one you can definitely part on the sides so i mean you obviously wouldn't want to do a deep side part or anything like that like way over here but just having the flexibility if i wanted to continue the cornrows all the way across i'd have that option but for me this is good enough because i mean i'm in my 30s so how much longer can i do the cornrows up top before it becomes like you're a little bit old anyways love 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 this look and i love the way it looks on me i've done one more video with kessa wigs so i'll be sure to leave that one in the description box if you're looking for similar but just a different texture and style um loved that wig you guys actually love that wig um because it was just so beautiful i love the texture of their hair it just gives very very much a natural vibe and again you can see like how natural it looks if you want something a little bit more tame to defined, have no fear i would recommend a mousse like nairobi or even just using more of the um moisturizing conditioner to go ahead and really soak it up and define the curls would be nice especially paired with a dimming brush didn't feel the need to do that because again i wanted the curls to be like more soft and fluffy and natural and again i think i executed it very well so go ahead and check the description box before you head out there you can find a direct link to this wig also details list links of everything we used to complete this look as usual also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already will definitely help me out so much as we are on a road to 300k on this this channel thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches